Welcome to a second edition of me asking you, the viewer, if this thing is good or not based on the majority of interest in order for me to understand this certain discussion and form my own opinion later on. And today we're going to go into a different topic which is professional wrestling. So I gotta ask, is AEW any good? This one will also be tricky like the last video. And it involves wrestling fans, well, at least in my experience, having so much hot takes, claiming that they know everything about pro professional wrestling or sports entertainment, per se. And they always insult other wrestling fans just for liking AEW or modern WWE. And they would claim that Attitude Era wrestling only counts as real wrestling. And plus, you know, they all and they also insult other wrestling fans for liking, you know, indie wrestlers and just because they're not big and buff like your Dave Batista of all wrestlers. And pretty much, you know, the word smart gets used so many times in wrestling rant videos because, you know, it's in their lexicon. Now, I have not seen all Elite Wrestling, I've never seen Dynamite, Collision, or even Rampage in my entire life. I've never seen a pay-per-view. Now, because, you know, one, we recently cut off our subscription with DirecTV. I don't have cable anymore as of last year. And also, why would I want to pay a ridiculous amount of money for YouTube TV, like like sixty nine or seventy nine dollars a year, and and pretty much before the start of AEW, I was burnt out of watching wrestling, you know, back in SummerSlam two thousand eighteen. As of right now, I am getting back to watching WWE, but yet I have seen AEW. Well, maybe I wasn't encouraged enough as I once was. Maybe I just really felt like I was afraid that I would be bamboozled, you know, disappointed, or even bored during the shows. Now, after learning about some news that's been happening behind the scenes, you know, the one with Jack Perry and CM Punk and the whole tape incident, maybe there's a reason why I haven't even watched yet. I mean... I really wanted to watch, but I just don't really know. I mean, there's something really fishy that's been happening recently. I don't know how long AEW will last. I heard of a rumor that their Time Warner deal hasn't been renewed. So uh, that's at least what I heard from some other sources. I don't know if this is true or not, but, you know, you may never know what will happen next, even as of this video. And as for the AEW shows each week, now, I want to know if there are any AEW fans in the comments down below. Now, how are they treating you week by week? And now I did say I never watched the shows, but I did watch one show in particular, which was AEW Dark, and it was free up on YouTube. And after watching one episode, I honestly felt kind of bored. I mean, I don't know what's so special about it. I mean, maybe that's the point being of a dark match, as they call it for their title, their dark show. So I just went on with my life. From what I gather from online posts and YouTube videos, AEW hasn't been doing well in the ratings, just under a million each week. And they don't have enough ticket sales, which is why you see empty seats in certain AEW shows uploaded by fans. They they don't have stars, at least in my book. I mean, one star, in my opinion, is Maxwell James Friedman. And he delivers one of the best promos as of recently about his upon his return, saying that he is fucking back or something like that. And that's what AEW needs right now, is just to focus more on its character building and writing. You know, to have a reason to watch each and every week. I mean, it could really interest the crowd. Now, the roster is overcrowded and filled with ex-WWE superstars. They try to copy WWE's homework in order to compete for ratings. And, I, and they don't even have stories to tell. They don't really have storylines like 
when was the last time you ever see a memorable AEW storyline? Like, most of them just flip-flop around and don't go anywhere, or even just never mentioned again, just fade into obscurity. What about the hardcore side of things in AEW? Now, sure, we do love hardcore wrestling every now and then, you know, with old-school TNA, ECW, and especially Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era matches. From what I heard, that people complained that there are too much hardcore matches in order to attract fans and gain ratings. Now, is it anywhere excusable for AEW? And I can't whether to make heads or tails if, if I were to agree or disagree upon it. Now, I'll just let you guys decide whether if it's excusable or not. You have all these wrestling legends come into AEW, you know, such as Billy Gunn, Sting, Chris Jericho. Well, even though he needs to retire, I mean, because look at him. And you also have Bret the Hitman Hart, you have Arn Anderson, and you even have Sabu. And you also have big time celebrities like Rick Ross, you got Steve-O, you got you know, Jay and Silent Bob, a.k.a. Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith. You even have Tony Hawk there. I mean, you know, it is fun while it lasted. I mean, is that going to gain any ratings? I mean, was it even any good or was it not good enough to make ratings? What about the AEW matches? Well, I know what some people are going to say. Yo, this match is fucking boring, bruh. All they do is flips, kicks, and other acrobatic shit. They're doing so much spots, it's getting lame and warm, worn out. I'm just changing the channel right now. Yeah, from what I heard, this is somehow true coming from certain wrestling fans. And I don't know whether I, if I can be the judge for myself. Now, how about the promos? Well, you know, they do a frequent amount of swearing in almost each and every promo, something that we almost never get to hear in WWE anymore, at least from what I remembered. Now, I don't know about you, like, I mean, do, I mean, do they have to swear about everything? I mean, why don't they just, you know, do a lot more, do some swearing in order to sell a very big match coming soon, you know, for an upcoming pay-per-view? I mean, one, and you know, rather than MGF, for for example, at least it makes sense, in my opinion. But it depends on how you feel about the promos. Now, are they, are they stale? Are they just, you know, plagiarizing? Again, let me know what you think. Finally, we come to the person that made it all possible, which is Tony Khan. And by possible, I mean possibly out of touch with this, with the reality of the turmoil that he is in right now. Now, each and every other tweet, you know, it goes like, Hey, come check out Dynamite. It'll be a can't-miss show. You won't regret it. I have a huge announcement to make, and I believe we're better than WWE, and we're number one. We're gonna win this war, I promise. I'm sorry, but... Does he even know how to run a wrestling show? Does he even know what wrestling is? He's all talk. I mean, he thinks he's going to become a bigger, viable competitor to WWE. I mean, it's not the Monday Night War anymore, or, or even Wednesday Night as you call it. I mean, honestly, how petty and desperate can you be in order to sell your company to other wrestling fans? I don't... And speaking about it... The more of the facade he puts up, and the AEW isn't going to survive much longer. Now, I think AEW needs a new overhaul, probably, probably new management as of right now, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon since he's too proud of himself right now. He's just going to be smart-mouthing everybody, but soon when reality hits, you know, that's when you got to at least hang up boots and you know tuck your tail between your legs and probably swallow your pride because yeah I mean he he's not going to stop acting like this anytime soon is he normally I would bring up any AEW videos or pictures however you know their copyright is so strict 
that it's even harder for me to even describe what I'm telling you guys over here. So just try and take my word for it. And this video would get removed by either All Elite Wrestling Inc. or LLC, whichever the fuck it is. So, yeah, I mean, it's... I don't think AEW is any good, you know, with the direction that they're heading right now. However, you know, I have been skeptical and I have been somewhat, I've been a little rash. But the truth is, you know, I want AEW to succeed. I want them to thrive. I want them to go forward in time instead of backwards. You know, just move on from the competition phase and be its own entity. And, you know, the wrestling world is a pretty complicated place, and amongst its fans is one of the most toxic fandoms ever existed on the internet. You know, at least from my point of view, point of being, or point of view, however you call it. You know, it's just like every other community you go to online, you know, whether it be Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, or dare I have to say 4chan. So with that being said... You know, uh, that's my question, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you. I'll see you later for now.